Hey guys, I wanted to go through our very favorite parts of Thailand. Now, there's no way I could go through the best parts of Thailand in just 10, 15 minutes, but I wanted to highlight some of our favorites. Also be sure to like and subscribe. One of our very favorite things about Thailand is called Tiger Cave Temple. The Tiger Cave Temple is located about 20 minutes northeast of Krabi City. The coolest part about this temple is that it sits atop 1260 stairs. It really feels like you are up in the clouds when you're at this temple. You get a 360 degree view of some of the prettiest landscapes in Thailand. The top of the temple is covered with intricate Buddhist culture that is just beautiful. We like to do the hike really early in the morning uh, so that we can catch the sunrise. And there are also less people there. There are a couple of theories around why they call it the Tiger Cave Temple. The first is because of the tiger paw prints that you can see around the cave. Another story is that there was a monk that went into the cave to meditate and he saw a ton of tigers running around throughout the cave. Now, one thing to notice is you will see a lot of monkeys throughout the trail and throughout the temples at the bottom of the stairs. Do not feed the monkeys. If you're not used to being around monkeys, they can seem cute and innocent. They are not. They will steal your stuff. They will steal your purse. They will steal your backpack. I have had monkeys try and steal my children, one of my shoes, baby Tylenol. So please be careful. Don't whip your phone out. They will steal your phone. At the bottom of the temple, there is a stand of little restaurants just outside the grounds. Go and get some gang dang curry, red curry. It is to die for there. Best part number two of Thailand are the inexpensive hotels. Now along with food, transportation, and all of the other things in Thailand, staying at a hotel is very, very inexpensive. You can get a five-star hotel for under $100 a night. Most hotels are gonna have awesome pools. <laughs> good food, inexpensive services, massages. Our third favorite thing about Thailand is the transportation. We usually ride around in scooters. There are also tuk-tuks, which is their taxi service, which is a scooter attached to a little cart. These are really fun. It's always hot in Thailand, so it gives you some air. One of the things we've done is we have gone and talked to the locals to see if they had a spare scooter that they would rent us for the week. Oftentimes they will. This is a video of one of the scooters with a cart side by side to it that we rented for about $35 for an entire week. Great, do you like our new ride? Great, Bo. Zach, what are we doing right now? Test drive. Woohoo! Say hi, Barry. Hi! It was awesome. We got the kids to be able to take naps. It's not as hectic as riding around in just a scooter with four people. It seems a little more sturdy. Sometimes they're a bit harder to drive. They're great. We probably put almost a thousand miles on this tuk-tuk. Now another part of the transportation is island hopping. Thailand is home to 1,430 islands. It's really inexpensive to go from one island to another. You can go by boat, you can go by plane, you can even go by ferry boat. In this next part, you'll see that we were able to take our tuk-tuk right onto a ferry. took us from the mainland Thailand to a little island called Koh Lanta, which is a, a great place, really chill, not a ton of tourists. It's getting a little bit more popular, amazing beaches. Island hopping is really, really fun. Now this is going to be no surprise, but number four on our list is the food. From really yummy mango sticky rice to all of the wonderful curries and stir fries that you can get in Thailand. Try it all, it's all very, very delicious. Our favorite dish is Penang curry. The boy likes himself some curry. It's fantastic. It's a very strong curry. 
It's got a red curry in it with basil and a bunch of other really, really rich spices. <laughs> Another treat that we really enjoy are the Thai crepes. They put Nutella, chocolate, caramel, bananas, strawberries, all kinds of yummy stuff inside of these crepes. They're Angie's favorite. They also have some wonderful coconut ice cream. Another experience in Thailand that you should try out are the Thai barbecues. The Thai barbecues are a buffet where you choose your raw meats and vegetables and then they've got a hot plate on each table that you can cook your own meat and vegetables on. Really yummy, pretty inexpensive, um, and just a really fun experience of the Thai culture. Another great treat are the smoothies. We love the lemon smoothies. Those are Vera's favorite. Okay, number five is also not surprising, the beaches. They are spectacular, very picturesque. Because Thailand is home to so many beaches and so much coastline, a lot of the beaches are not extremely busy. They have these rocks that jut right out of the water. It makes the landscape very beautiful. I put a link in the description of all of the beaches that I love to go to, we really try to find those that are off the beaten path where there are not a lot of people. And be sure to check out the beaches during the sunset or sunrise. There is nothing like a sunset or sunrise in Thailand. All right, number six. Thailand is home to some of the most intricate, beautiful culture in the world. The amount of detail that they put into their sculptures and statues is phenomenal. Okay, number seven. Number seven on our list is hiking in general in Thailand. One of the hikes that I wanna highlight is called the Nong Thail Peak. It's a beautiful hike. It feels like you're in the clouds. The end of the hike is a lookout where you can see all of the jutting peaks and you can see the coastline and it's beautiful and green. On this hike, you're gonna experience a lot of wildlife. They have these trees that are bright red. We always see these really crazy looking lizards that just look like mini dinosaurs. Oh, don't, Zach, please, it could. No, 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 no. Gray is great at picking them out and finding them. You're also going to see ants, spiders, but again, the best part of this hike is the view at the end. It is breathtaking. All right, number eight, the markets. The markets in Thailand are awesome. You've got the floating markets, which are literally markets that are operated by boat. The vendors just ride around in these boats and they have grills, seafood that they're cooking on these little canoes. They are really cool. Not only can you find some amazing food, uh, some fun souvenirs, but it's just an experience. So even if you don't wanna go and spend a bunch of money, Go and experience them because they are really fun. One of the markets I wanna highlight is the Krabby Night Market. This is in Krabby City. They have a market every single night that starts at around 4 p.m. and goes well into the night. We will hit it at four o'clock on the dot and we will just kind of walk around until we're hungry again so that we can get it twice in one day. You can choose from a variety of vendors and get just a touch of everything. It's inexpensive. They also have the lemon smoothies that Vera really enjoys. What shake did you like the best? Lemon. Lemon. We always get the Penang curry. High spicy. Yummy. Yummy, Delicious. yummy. The market has a lot of fun, exotic foods that you don't usually get to try. Okay, I know that I did not cover everything. There's no way that I can get a comprehensive list of everything we enjoy about Thailand because it would just be hours and hours of content. Thanks for watching. 
please let me know in the comments what did I miss? What are your favorite parts of Thailand? Also be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.